Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We have another video that will probably be coming out right around the New Year's time. But today, we want to talk about our trailer and what we got ready for us to go to Florida. So stay tuned. So today we are going to talk about our trailer a little bit and the G, uh, diesel heater that we installed for this Florida trip that we're getting ready to head down to. So um, let's talk a little bit about that. But before we go and uh, start talking about that, I want to thank everybody, all my subscribers, everybody that continues to come back and support the channel and continue to go down that path. One of the things that we are doing for 2022, um, we are going to be creating a calendar for the Broncos Sport and the Broncos. Um, and this will be any Bronco from the beginning stages back in the 60s all the way to today. Um, so you, if you have a Bronco that you're wanting to be, uh, try to get put into this calendar for 2023 to 2024, make sure you stay tuned for it. Um, we, are, we do have some information down below in the description as far as how you guys can sign up um, and some stipulations for that. But uh, we do have that coming up where if you guys want to support us with that, we have a calendar for some of the Broncos coming out. Um, we want to see what you guys have for Broncos too. So uh, send us some photos, send us some information. We'd love to hear, hear and see some of that kind of stuff. Um, here at the channel, we do a lot of overlanding stuff and we do a lot of off-road building and all that kind of stuff. So the Bronco will be getting lifted. We do have a lift kit on, on the way. Um, we are working with a manufacturer out on the East Coast and we'll have more information with you guys as soon as we finalize all the details and get you guys with that information there. Um, it is not a rough country kit, it's a USA built kit here in the States. A little bit more rugged, a little bit better design, so hopefully, hopefully we can get that in the next few weeks and get that put on. So. so if you guys are new to this whole overlanding and trying to winter camp, what we're trying to achieve here is we're trying to achieve some sort of goal where we can stay warm in the winter time. Um, and still actually be able to go outdoors and do stuff. So we did a lot of research on these here. And this here is the... It's a Chinese knockoff of a Wabasto diesel heater. And basically it feeds diesel into the chamber inside here. Air flows in through here, combusts in here. Then you got a fan on the backside that kind of pushes and pushes the heat this way. So down below underneath, we cut a hole and we got a turret plate and everything else to help kind of seal it up. And we got more information. If you guys haven't seen the videos, uh, make sure you guys click right here up on the right. There's a whole bunch of different videos that we saw, but this is the guy here that probably explains it the best um, on the diesel heaters and what you, you can do for some of the stuff. They have crazy amount of safety features put on some of these to kind of help protect you guys. Um, but yeah, so we, with this here, we do have the exhaust and the intake and the fuel lines up underneath the trailer here. Um, and we basically have the exhaust venting out to the side here. We have the intake kind of tucked inside the frame underneath here. And then we have a fuel line that runs all the way from the front to the back. So we got the, we got the diesel fuel tank here. We've got the line that runs all the way back here. Cuts around and comes over. Fuel pumps right up underneath here as well. But we have these two, some jerry cans. These are going to mount actually our diesel and our um, water storage for when we're on the trails. Right now I just put the, the fuel ones on there because we're still mocking up some stuff for the Bronco to put these two cans on the actual Bronco um, and then put the water, the fresh water and the diesel storage for additional fuel back here. So um, super simple design of the way they did this. Um, Webasto actually has the nicer version. This here is about 150 to $200 depending on which uh, one you want to go with. Um, Webasto you're probably looking to write around $1,500 um, for it. Um, same design, same setup. Um, this is just a Chinese knockoff. So we have inside here, we have our bed and everything put back in here. Basically what we did was we put a board on the back and we put a vent 
right here to kind of vent in there. Now we don't have anything up here yet because we're still working on this. We still have a lot of work to do, um, but it's probably not going to get done before Florida. So um, up here we have the control unit for the Wabasto. As you can see, it's 13 degrees Celsius in here. Um, and then right next to it, we got the USB. And then we have um, the unit that actually controls a lot of the power, I'm sorry, the power fluctuation and stuff that we can actually monitor here that shows us the current voltage and the percentage. Um, but we'll talk more about that at, on a different video. Um, so yeah, a yeah, pretty simple design, works really good. Low, low fuel for us to be able to stay warm at night. Um, come over here so you get a better view. So basically that's, that's the control unit there. You can set it so that you can do timer mode or you can set it for degrees so we can bring it up to a certain degrees. Right now it's off because we do have the, the trailer inside the garage because we are still working on it. One of the things that we did was we added this here and this here is a cover that just pops off here. And basically we just take this adapter here, put it on here. This is all watertight. Uh, this is actually for a sewage system. Um, no, this is not a used setup. This is a new setup. So we basically put the hose there. When we deploy the rooftop out, we put the hose right on top there and well, bam, we have heat. I know it's kind of a corny design. We still got some clean up to do. We got some caulk and stuff here that we got to clean up, um, but we were getting that all sealed up. And yeah, so like I said, we, we didn't do a video. There's, there's plenty of videos. There's plenty of information out there about these. No reason to reinvent the wheel and show you guys something that a lot of people are already doing. So I'll kind of give that credit to those guys and make sure you guys go and check them out and see, see some different things that they give and some different tips. You guys can kind of be your own judgment over that kind of stuff. But we also have in our 270 degree Rhino Rack Batwing. Now we will be talking more about this on the trip. We will be deploying this and using this as well. But um, that is actually the Christmas gift my wife got me for this year for the trailer so that we can kind of expand that out. So I was super happy to get that. We got that mounted immediately. So yeah, super excited to get going to Florida here soon. We do have a lot of work. We still got some trim and stuff. We got it all to finish up. Um, we were going to use this kind of trim here, but we picked up some the other day. We're going to get that trim all mounted up and get it looking nice in here. And then we got some cabinets and stuff we're going to still finish off and build down down here. So we still have a lot of work to do. So I'm hoping you guys like that video. Um, like I said, we got a lot coming up for 2022. If you guys have not seen, we have that calendar that we're going to be working on building for the Bronco and Bronco Sports. Just because we're a Bronco fanatic around here. Yeah, we used to be Jeep, um, but after driving the Bronco and driving the full-size Bronco a few times, I'm converted, I'm sorry. I know, I know you guys all really want me to stay Jeep and really want to see the Jeeps out there, but there's thousands of Jeeps, there's millions of Jeeps, so we're going to do something different. We're going to start building the Bronco. We got the Bronco Sport ready. We're going to work on getting that lifted. We got some more work we want to get done to it, um, and we're going to show you guys the capability of what that Bronco Sport can actually do. So, like I said, we already pulled the trailer. It does extremely well for that on the trails. We did take it to Grand Canyon. Uh, we were trying to work our way to Point, point Subline um, because of some of the terrain out there. Um, I've seen this on a few other Bronco Sport forms uh, where people are having this problem where they scrape too much on the bottom. Um, you basically damage the heat shield, and that heat shield will start rubbing against your drive shaft. It'll sound like something's something's grinding down there but it's actually it's actually your drive shaft rubbing against the the heat shield so there's a modification that's going to be coming up that we did here where we just took a couple of simple um angle iron popped them up in there bolt braced it up so that it was actually away from the away from the drive shaft like it should be and once we start working on trying to get some skid plates and stuff up underneath there that should take care of a lot of that stuff so like i said the Bronco Sport is still a new, uh, Bronco and Bronco Sport is still a fairly new design for a lot of people for off-roading. As you see, with like the Jeep Cherokees and stuff, those are a huge thing for some of the Overlanders, the Forerunners, some of the other stuff out there. That's what we're going to do for the Bronco Sport. We're going to show you guys what she can do and what, what the capabilities of doing different off-roading. And really, you can off-road with just about anything. 
I've seen a lifted Prius go off road and do overlanding. So tried that out a few trips. Just wasn't gonna work out because of the confined area inside here. So with this here having a lot smaller, it takes up the oxygen and it's actually got a oxygen sensor inside there that shuts off the the well it's actually it's more of a it, it's a it's a safety device that basically when your oxygen gets too low it shuts off the pilot light basically what it is um but this here uh, i've done i did a lot of research on these and there's they're, they're all pretty much the same you can get a di different features you can get one without the lcd we wanted the thermostat one to kind of help control that kind of stuff and do some different things and it did come with a remote, so you can turn it on with the remote. Um, but we're right there, so really don't need it. Um, the main goal was so that we could stay warm inside here, and then we can also push heat to the rooftop when we have that deployed out on the trails if the kids are with us or whatever. And I'm looking forward to try to do some stuff with my kids this year and try to get out of the house and get them away from some electronics. If you guys haven't seen, I've been trying to do them more and more. Well, I go out and do stuff. I'm trying to get my kids to get, I'm trying to get more involved with that because I don't want to see them stuck behind electronics and stuck on the internet. I know that's what I'm doing right now and that's what we're doing where you guys are watching YouTube, which trust me, appreciate that. But we want to get more out. We want to go do more things. And that's what I want to encourage you guys to go do. I hope these videos help you guys, encourage you guys to go do different things like building this trailer from the ground up. You guys remember that, like check it out. That was just a frame. Like now we're back to this. Like this is what we achieved with it. And it, it's crazy because I'm super proud of myself for this because as you guys have seen, I've, I've, I've been a problematic for trying to actually do different projects on here and not finish them. So this one here, I'm finishing up. I'm having fun with it. You know, it's a great thing. It's a great bonding thing I'm, me and my kids have been doing because I've been teaching them some stuff. They've been teaching me some stuff about different things. So it's a kind of a two way street. You never stop learning. Um, I've always heard the saying that if you ever stop learning, that's the day you die. So, like, you're, you're, you're always going to learn something every single day. So, yeah. That, that one was like, I, I kind of repeat the same thing over and over, and I'm trying to get better at it. So, yeah. Kind of the behind the scene bloopers that you guys see where we just, we stop recording or we basically don't do it and we don't post it on YouTube. So, but yeah, this is, this is, I'm super excited. So, Let's go make some videos and let's get this posted for you guys for Christmas Day. See you.